There's a new twist this morning in the government's gun walking scandal involving an even more dangerous weapon. CBS News investigative correspondent Cheryl Atkinson has been on this story from the very beginning. She joins us now from Washington. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, Chris. We're getting new details as the Fast and Furious investigation branches out to a case with a twist, not walking guns, but involving grenades and a suspect allegedly left to traffic and manufacture them from Mexican drug cartels. Police say Jean-Baptiste Kingery, a U.S. citizen, was a veritable grenade machine. He's accused of smuggling parts for as many as 2,000 grenades into Mexico for killer drug cartels, sometimes under the direct watch of U.S. law enforcement. Law enforcement sources say Kingery could have been prosecuted twice in the U.S. for violating export control laws, but that each time prosecutors in Arizona refused to make a case. Grenades are weapons of choice for the cartels. A recent attack on a casino killed 53 people. Sources tell CBS News that in January 2010, ATF had Kingery under surveillance after he bought about 50 grenade bodies and headed to Mexico. But they say prosecutors wouldn't agree to make a case. So as ATF agents looked on, Kingery and the grenade parts crossed the border and simply disappeared. Six months later, Kingery allegedly got caught leaving the U.S. for Mexico with 114 disassembled grenades in a tire. One ATF agent told investigators he literally begged prosecutors to keep Kingery in custody this time, fearing he was supplying narco-terrorists, but was again ordered to let Kingery go. The prosecutors, already the target of controversy for overseeing Fast and Furious, wouldn't comment on the grenade case. U.S. Attorney Dennis Burke recently resigned, and his assistant Emery Hurley has been transferred. Sources say Hurley is the one who let Kingery go, saying grenade parts are novelty items and the case lacked jury appeal. Now, in August, Mexican authorities raided Kingery's stash house and factory, finding materials for a thousand grenades there. He's charged with trafficking and allegedly admitted to making grenades, teaching cartels how to make them, and helping them convert semi-automatic rifles to fully automatic. As one source puts it, there's no telling how much damage Kingery did in the year and a half since he was first let go. The Justice Department Inspector General is now investigating this, along with Fast and Furious. Chris? It boggles the mind. CBS's mm -hmm. Cheryl Atkinson in Washington for us this morning. Cheryl, thank you.